asteroids, sometimes called minor planets, are rocky leftover from the early formation of our solar system from about 4.6 billion years ago. So far we have discovered more than 900,000 asteroids, but there are thousands more discovered each year. There are undoubtedly hundreds of thousands of asteroids that are too small to be seen from the Earth. There are 26 known asteroids larger than 200 kilometers in diameter. Our census of the largest ones is now fairly complete. We probably know 99% of the asteroids larger than 100 kilometers in diameter. Most of these asteroids orbits the Sun between Mars and Jupiter in the central asteroid belt. The size of the asteroids varies, the largest which is having a diameter of 530 kilometers, to bodies with diameter fewer like 10 meters. The total mass of all asteroids together is less than that of the Earth's moon. Most asteroids are irregular in shape, although some are nearly spherical, and often have pits or craters. As they rotate in elliptical orbits around the Sun, asteroids sometimes are quite irregular. At least 150 asteroids, recognized to have a small moon. Some asteroids even have two moons. The asteroids are also present in pair which orbit rocky bodies of approximately the same size. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. Jupiter's huge gravity and occasional close encounters with Mars change the orbits of the asteroids so that they fall from the central belt and project in all directions into space through the realms of the other planets. Lost asteroids and asteroid fragments have hit Earth and other planets in the past. They have played an essential role in changing the geological history of planets and in the development of life on Earth. Scientists are continually monitoring asteroids whose paths cross Earth's orbit. Asteroids approaching Earth's orbit at a distance of 45 million kilometers may present an impact risk. Radar is a valuable tool for detecting and monitoring potential impact risks. Scientists can derive objects, images, and other information from echoes by reflecting signals. Scientists can learn a lot about an asteroid's orbit, rotation, size, shape, and metal concentration. So how big can an asteroid get? It depends on what you mean by an asteroid. The largest asteroid in the asteroid belt is Sears, which is much smaller than our moon. But there are occasional fast-moving asteroids from the Oort cloud. Amongst the trillions of comets there, there are an estimated 8 billion asteroids that are bodies that are rocky instead of made from ice. So could an asteroid from the Oort cloud be as big as the Earth? Well there could be objects out there as big as the Earth. They wouldn't get flung towards Earth like a comet because they are too large for that. But they can orbit at some great distance. If you use the International Astronomical Union's definition of a planet, we would normally call them as a dwarf planet. But then Sears is a dwarf planet too. If Pluto, which is twice the size of Sears was in the asteroid belt, would you call it an asteroid or a planet? Well, it would lose all its ices and would be much smaller. But if we had a rocky object that size in the asteroid belt, then according to the International Astronomical Union's definition, it would be a dwarf planet. But for some reason, when it's that far away, we don't call Pluto an asteroid. At least I've never heard anyone call it such. It's perhaps because it is mainly icy, but even if we had a rocky object the size of Pluto, I don't think they'd call it an asteroid. Just a dwarf planet. An Earth-sized object, if as close to us as the asteroid belt would definitely be called a planet. But according to the International Astronomical Union definition, it is not a planet if it is far enough beyond Neptune. Also, move an object the size of Pluto to the orbit of Earth, and it would count as a planet. So why isn't it a planet when orbiting beyond Neptune? Many of us think this whole thing is silly, and that we should just call Sears and anything rounded like that under its own self-gravity a planet. We could also call our moon, a moon planet or satellite planet. That's the geophysical definition of a planet as opposed to the International Astronomical Union definition, which is based on whether it can clear its orbit of other objects. Our Earth can clear its orbit of anything over a time period of 20 million years. But if it was way beyond Neptune, far enough beyond it, then it couldn't do that, and so would fail the International Astronomical Union's definition of a planet. Anyway, there is no risk of anything this large getting into the inner solar system, 